again from CasaBagginsLiving.com. Today I'm joining Christina over at the DIYMommy.com's YouTube channel for a fall DIY and decor challenge. So what that means is that she's invited a lot of bloggers and home enthusiasts to share fall inspired decor tips and DIY ideas so that they can be collected in a long playlist and all available to you. So be sure to head over to the DIYMommy.com's YouTube channel, which I will drop a link to in the description below, so that you can see all of the wonderful fall DIY and decor ideas. What I'm sharing today is a fall tablescape, including a boho basket centerpiece that is super easy to make, and you can make it in literally five minutes or less, and we can get to all those wonderful details coming up next. If you love that global boho feel and you love this tablescape, be sure to hit that subscription button so that you can find all of my videos and be notified of when I post new videos by hitting that little bell somewhere here. So let's get to it and I hope that you enjoy this tablescape once again. Be sure to hit the next play so that you can go ahead and see all of the wonderful fall ideas all for Christina's DIY and Decor Challenge. To start your tablescape, go ahead and tie some ribbon to your belly basket. I wanted to incorporate the same ribbon that I used around my uh, utensils and as a napkin ring. So I tried this natural colored ribbon just to one side of the belly basket. You'll need something to stabilize your flowers, so I inserted this wire basket that I had. And you hardly actually see the handle, but if you have something that doesn't have a handle, that's always great. And just insert it into your belly basket and then arrange your individual vases of the flowers within the wire basket. You can use two or three different vases and inside of your belly basket, whichever you have, or you can go up to your garden and clip some natural florals from there or some leaves or maple sprigs also look great for the fall. So once you have your flowers in your basket, arrange them, fluff them up, try to make them look more full. And if you need to go back out to the garden to clip some more flowers or maple sprigs, be sure to fill them in and try to make the basket look very full. For the fall tablescape, what I wanted to start with was these pashminas that I found at the thrift store. They're so beautiful, so intricate. So I just draped them over the table. I had this wonderful blue one and then this purple one. Then just insert some nice global pieces like these blue willow plates. I love blue for the fall and I couldn't resist it. I really tried guys, but I couldn't remove myself from the blue. And so I decided to incorporate some of these blue willow plates on a cake stand and this blue uh, chinoserie inspired uh, in shape jar holds anything you really want but I decided this year to insert the leaves inside and this plant just looks wonderful. So I hope that you like this tablescape and I know that it's quite non-traditional but I really enjoy having that unique touch in my home and something that's unexpected. So if you really love this idea, please give my video a thumbs up and be sure to stay tuned for the next fall inspired DIY or decor idea.